Hey guys and welcome back to number nine farms today we're going to be doing an unboxing video it's saturday and it actually came um they canceled the market uh so anyways we are going to do it today and colby opened the box and i told him no don't open it and here we go this is the first time i'm actually taking it out of the box it came just like this in the box and it's a nice u-line box with the exact measurements here and here we have it the ardent flex and it's the precision heater and now we're going to do um, a decarb i went out on my own and bought this <laughs> because i wanted something that was going to be easier and quicker and i didn't have to babysit it or, or beg bruce to actually do it and so here we have it i also wanted to um while we're up here today give you a shout out to shane i almost said sean because that's how my brain works because he went on our etsy store and bought some soap and we really appreciate that that helps us out a whole lot look at this isn't it beautiful and it's one of my favorite colors purple oh oh and it's got that new car smell again too mm. we're not used to that smell well i've been in other cars that are all right look at this i mean it's just a simple little unit perfect and it's right there and then it comes with a little book here and it comes with this sweet little package way to go so now here we have the ardent flex and it comes with a little bit of directions and all kinds of things so let's go ahead and we're going to pause right here and now i'm going to read the book real quick and we're going to get started and we're going to Go ahead and start a first decarving. Okay, so we're back now and I've ran through a quick little um, education on this. And you know, we're gonna plug it in. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this here so you can see it because there it is, it's on. And it will hold up to four ounces. So that's a lot. So we've got four, it holds up to four ounces. It says don't overstuff. And there is a, a maximum line in here for your oil. And you've got to go online and register your flex. So, and there's also a detailed um, instructions that you can download and or print. They're like 12 pages, but you've got a few pages in there you won't need to print. So we're gonna go ahead now and um, get us out some botanicals. <laughs> and I've got my scale on. And I had already tarred it out. There's 1.4 ounce. So I'm gonna do about. Oh my goodness, are you serious? <laughs> I only had it. <laughs> I always just fill it up. All right, 2.2 .2 ounces. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. Or should I say dump it in? And they showed like you could put a jar in there. And of course this one is uh, a little bit more volume to it. Yeah, you don't have to cut it up or chop it up. Well, I did see you could. I don't wanna waste anything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the little lid on. Okay. and. A1 is for THC and A2 is for CBD. So you're gonna press the M button to go through the cycles that you need. And there's A2 and there it goes. So we'll go ahead and an hour and 45 minutes, we're supposed to come back and it's all done. So how simple is that? And there was no babysitting. Ja. <laughs> tell you was now that it's on a2 you want to 
you have selected your cycle by pushing the M button. Now you wanna push the power button again, and this way it goes from green to red. And what happened was um, Bruce had to point that direction out to me. And I wanted to let you know that we ordered this on a Saturday afternoon and that we it was in my driveway um, Friday at um, 3 o'clock. So in less than a week, this was delivered to my house. And I used the uh, Leafly coupon uh, for $50 off. So I ended up paying um, $305 for it with the... Um, the shipping uh, charge of just protection. It was a protection fee. So you can do not even have that and you have it in less than a week. How can't beat that. Okay guys, so you see it flashing red. So now that's an indicator that it's in the cool down cycle. So it just started, we came back in from planting pumpkins and now here we go. Um, so it's in the cool down mode. And I'll let you know when it's finished. Hey guys, so now the green light is on. It's completely cool. So let's see what we have. All right, Bruce, you're gonna have to do the video. All right, so here we have it. And it's got a little moisture on the top. So it did build up some steam. Mm -hmm, wow. And the smell. Um, wonderfulness. All right, so now it's been the, the time frame, and of course, it was a little over. We are not the machine, but us coming back because we had to finish our work. And I want to go ahead and take some out, and I'm going to take about an ounce out. So, just so that you know, and I'll go ahead and break it up some. So now we have completely decarved all of it that we have in here. And I'm going to go ahead now and just break it all up. And it is toasted, so it's perfect. Take out some of the little stems and go ahead and go from here. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing now that we have everything and I've already picked through it and crumbled it up but if you want to see this is exactly a half ounce a half ounce let me repeat that okay so I just took it like this and took out any of the stems anything like that and kind of broke it up took out some of the leaves and things but that's up to you whatever you want to do it it doesn't really matter um, okay so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do um, one cup of oil for this infusion. And there we go, right on the money. So I'm just gotta use vegetable oil because of course this is gonna be my for my brownies. And I don't need to use any expensive oil for that because it doesn't matter whoever eats them. They're just as good anyway so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um here we go go ahead and just put it in there and this unit is it says dishwasher safe um of course i'm gonna hand wash it but you could put it in the dishwasher and um do you just don't want to put this base unit on there because like it, it just slides right off and on you don't want to get that wet at all so go ahead and put the lid on. And we're gonna do the, the M button because 
we're gonna so now that Bruce wants to correct me again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to push the M. So now we are on infuse, and we're going to push the button, and it goes ahead and turns on red. But what I wanted to mention to you while this is running, um, Ardent says that in their little pamphlet, which I want to show you that. I don't know if I showed you that. Let me get that. Um, I did print this off. The computer, which who doesn't love this beautiful watercolor? Um, so it gives you all the instructions and everything for everything that you need to do, and it even tells you um, other things you can look up. But she says that you don't have to um, go no more than two hours because if you do, it doesn't give you any more effect through your oils so 45 minutes is is the least you need so i mean that's that's awesome right there in itself because who wants to wait eight hours when mm -hmm. not that i'm knocking anything i just want our other machine takes eight hours for a cycle so this is great yeah so we're really excited about this and we're going to let this go now i'm going to set the timer because it will go up to three hours on the infusion i think that's what i did read but i'm not sure of that it just said that they up the 300 degrees is what the bake cycle was maybe it was the that one anyways we'll be back and we'll see how it goes and yeah, thanks so it talks about can I use alcohol in the device? No, um, because like I have said in my other videos, um, alcohol should never um, be heated unless you know exactly what you're doing. And that's why I don't, you know, put that on my video. Or should I say Bruce's video? Well, the Everclear is 190 proof. It will ignite and you can't see it burning. <laughs> Trust us, it does happen. So... And does it smell? Absolutely not. There was no smell, and that is a plus in, on anybody's part, because especially if you you know live in an apartment or anything like that, yeah, it didn't have any smell. or somebody in your family doesn't want to smell it, which I know uh, people have said they that they don't want their parents smelling it. Blah blah blah. And well, okay, so. If you're doing this in your parents' house, maybe you should move out. <laughs> just, okay. Just go in there. Bruce, just go not, in there. Not really. Okay. Right. You don't have to be getting into detail. I'm just saying. Okay. Not all parents are cool like us, right? What container can I decarb concentrates or infuse in? Well, um, they use a little jar, and I saw them also use a little bottle. As long as it, you know, is heat proof, that would be fine. And like, there's the part about how do I infuse, how long do I infuse for? So it's everything. There's great information in here, and it is really nice. So I'm super excited because here's the deal. Now I don't have to wait for Bruce to babysit the decarbon. I can do it myself. And that's a bonus. And it's not that expensive. That was not a bad price. It really was. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not a bad price. Cause no. Uh, right in the middle here of the time, but you can see if you look down there, there's a little tiny. You can tell that it's warming it up. When I lifted the lid up, I can't really see it now, but anyways, you see that. It's looking good. Okay, guys, so it's been an hour and 45 minutes, so that's as long as I want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead now, and uh, I guess I guess it just unplugs because I'm stopping it. And I have completely damped, lightly damped my muslin cloth. So, and I have one of the strainers. I'm going to go ahead and strain it. This way, when it's wet, it'll go through easier. And it's nice and warm. Oh, and look how nice it looks. Oh, that's really good. 
and any time when it's not draining, you just want to move the flour around so that it'll go on in. It's going to be a slow draining, but this way it'll all be strained. There won't be no extra flour in it. And we'll be back when it's all done. It's been just a few minutes and it's still draining some, but look how nice it looks. Yeah. And Thanks for watching, and there you have it. And as you can see, it made almost back the whole cup. It was a little over three quarters, and there's still the um, flour in there. And I've already washed and cleaned it, and it's all cleaned up really nice with um, soap and water, and it's all set and dry. All right, so now this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and make these brownies finally.